Hey everyone, Apocalypse Hub here, and for today, we'll do a quick review of Audio Technica's lavalier mic, which I am using right now. Um, the I've actually been meaning to review this. I uh, got this like a, a while back. Uh, I did a video of it, and I think I, uh, I cleaned out my camera and, and uh, I lost the footage. So. Take two. So uh, I got this uh, for about I think at the time it was twenty seven ninety nine. I haven't checked the price as of today, um, but it kind of fluctuates between between the fluctuates between twenty four to twenty seven, maybe thirty two at the most. I haven't really seen it go uh, any higher than that. Anyway, it's a lavalier microphone. It's attached to my uh, Kodak Zi8, which is an old camera, but it's it's an amazing camera for what I'm doing right now. Um, I actually have a secondary camera that I, I'm going to do a review of. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that for uh, quick videos like this, but I like my ZIA setup, so uh, that's what I'm going to do for now. Um, I wanted a mic, an external mic, to connect to it because uh, it was just uh, my audio from the ZIA was good, but it was just a little kind of, how would I say it, it's kind of muffled. So. Um, comes in this little packet. Um, has a very long cord. Let me show you. It's attached to my camera right now, so I'm hoping I don't tip this camera over. It's hooked to my camera, off to the left side. And this is how much cord, the length of the cord, it comes with it. This is probably good for outdoors too. So uh, I haven't really untied it because I don't need this. I just do day tabletop reviews. I'm gonna. It comes with a little alligator clip. It's clipped onto my shirt right now. I'm going to take it off so the audio is going to sound a little weird right now. Because I want to show you how it looks. So it looks like this. Um, that's the mic right there. It clips onto your clothing or whatever, your lapel. Um, it actually came with a windscreen. I can't find it right now. It's probably on my desk somewhere. It's just tiny. Just put that in there. I don't really need it. I, I do this indoors, so um, clip this back on. And then this is where the controls are located. You got the on and off switch. This unscrews and the little batteries inside. It's like a, one of those little flat round watch batteries. Um, it's probably time for me to order a new one, actually. Um, I like it. Oh, look, it's got a little clip, too, which I don't use. Again, I, it sits on my coffee table or my uh, kitchen table for the most part, so I don't need to really... It's not going mobile. I'm not traveling around with it for now. Um, the only complaint I have about it, the build, the actual build, is that I can't tell if the battery is actually working or if it's drained or not because it does not have an indicator, a power indicator. And uh, I've actually forgotten to turn this on once or twice during previous reviews before and that kind of sucked. <laughs> I had to do a, a review like two, three times so I keep forgetting to turn the switch on. Um, yeah, as for the battery level, I wish it had an indicator of some sort so you can tell if the battery is actually working. Like right now, it's been a while since I used this, so I'm not sure if it's recording. So I guess we'll find out when I uh, review uh, the playback of this vid. But uh, overall, I like the sound. It's uh, it's clear, not a lot of popping. I'm not that I'm not an audio audio file when it comes to the microphone. So it's just to improve the quality of my audio in general uh, to to eliminate extraneous noise. I'm gonna have extraneous noise. I record in Norse. I have cats and a dog. And, uh, I live a block away from the hospital, so what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna unplug this real quick, the mic it is anyway, and kind of show you how uh, uh, th what the difference is between without mic and without with mic. So this is Kodak CI8 with the mic on, and this is the Kodak ZI8 without the mic. I just unplugged it, so can tell the difference, I guess. Put it back in. And there you go. Nice little affordable mic. 
Um, I watched tons of reviews of it before I purchased it because it's just the way I am. And these are the facts. It is the model ATR3350 lavalier microphone. Um, omnidirectional picks up around 360. So and it comes with a windscreen clip battery. It's ready to go when you get the package from Amazon. I'll try to link a uh, product link below if it's available so you can go check it out for yourself and see if it's for you. Um, it works with this camera but my other camera um, it won't work because it does not have an external microphone port and I don't I don't really think it needs one the, the audio on that is, is, is decent enough so uh, that's it I would recommend it if you have a camera that has an external microphone port or you just want to kind of bump up your little operation there uh, yeah I would, I would pick it up and kind of mess around with it gives you a feel for you know a, what the difference is between just the built-in mic on your camera versus a microphone added so thank you for watching this is uh, another little gadget review from apocalypse hub this is Ro um, this is the audio technica model ATR 3350 lavalier microphone uh, recommended so I probably just need to pick up some batteries. Uh, it's if we're fairly inexpensive for a pack of six. Last time I checked was uh, about six, seven bucks. So not too bad. Till next time. Thank you for watching.